Sig P365 macro with an Olight. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Three River Kydex. All right guys, so as you can see, this gun is clear and safe. There is nothing inside. Um, the P365 macro is very, very popular right now. This one happens to have the slide cuts. Some of them do, some of them don't. But really what I want to talk about is the Olight setup. Now this Olight setup is nice because you can take it off and you can charge it. This happens to be the Boulder, uh, which is the newest one, the newest model. All right, don't really have a problem with that. The issue comes with the adjustable mounting system. Now the adjustable mounting system is just that, it's adjustable. So what you do is you take this, you put it on your gun. This is a Glock setup, so you don't really have to worry about it. It will fit on there. Um, but the issue then comes, how do I set this up, all right? So as you can see here, it sets up sorta of in the center, has a little bit of space, which is the way I made the holster. But what you could also do is set it up front and then set in your light like that. Okay, so it is there's kind of an issue with setting up these guns uh, with these lights, all right? That's why a lot of people don't use them. They kind of use a standard package where it's just one piece, you slap it on there and you're good. With the adjustable system, I understand why it's important. However, um, making holster makes it a lot difficult. So if you see for this gun, what I had done is bring it all the way to the front. And now when I fit it in my holster, there's a little bit of a gap right here, okay? It'll still fit, it'll still work, but that's not, not how I molded it. The way I molded it was for the adjustment piece to sit in the center and then collapse. You can see there's a little bit of space right there. And then now, when you put the gun in, it fits all the way and there is no gap. All right, so it really kind of depends on the way you're gonna set up that Boulder Mini or the Olights themselves. Uh, any type of adjustment rail, you gotta tell your maker how you want it set up. I set it up like this, hopefully the, the owner can set it up like this and it's not a big deal. I don't think it will be because it comes standard and stock this way. So as you can see, fits in really nice. It does have two tensioners right here and it does have a 1.5 uh, foamy clip. All right, and the outside I had to do a little bit of blocking. Now I know there's guys out there that use the um, vacuum table and that's great. I don't do that, I use the press just because I have very, very little room here. Um, so I'm gonna roll the footage, stay tuned through the end. Tell me that you're ready to go 
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, this is the P365 Macro Edition. Uh, really nice gun. Um, very expensive gun. Uh, this is the inside the waistband with the 1.5 plastic foamy clip. It does have tensioners on the side, so if you wanted to make it a little bit tighter, you can. Again, I spoke a little bit about how you set up your Olight. Please make sure you tell your holster maker how you're going to set up that Olight. And again, it's not coming out. So, thank you very much, guys. Please like, subscribe. 90% of you guys watch me, but not everybody subscribes, so please subscribe to the channel. Add some comments down below if you have this gun and you're looking for a holster. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Patreon. Also check out all the links I have down below for my other channels. Thank you very much and as always, stay safe.